Hi everybody, my name is Mrs. Miller and I'm known as the sticker lady to many people. I'm actually a middle school math teacher in San Diego, California, and I went viral about a year ago showing the sticker store, which is an incentive program that I use for my students that works very well. That was a lie. Not the part where it, it works very well. Uh, that's not why I went viral. Um, so when a lot of teachers started making sticker stores for their own classrooms, I had to remind them that if you buy sticker packs, there's gonna be some inappropriate ones. And um, so then I started showing the inappropriate ones as examples, the stickers that you might get in these sticker packs. That That's, that's why I went viral. Um, showing the inappropriate stickers, um, which then led to the number one asked questions on all of my social media platforms. Mrs. Miller, why, why are you buying inappropriate stickers for your students? Why don't you just buy appropriate stickers? Here's this answer that I've had pinned on my profile for a long time. My number one most asked question, Mrs. Miller, why don't you just buy appropriate stickers for your students? Let's answer it. The whole purpose of my sticker store and my stickers in general, it's to get my students to do their work, be good students, be good stewards of their community, be good human being. In order to encourage them to be all those things, I have to have stickers that my students actually want. The stickers that my students want may be in packs that have some inappropriate stickers in them, which is okay. In a pack of a hundred stickers, 90 of them may be appropriate, 10 may be inappropriate. I'm okay with losing 10% of the stickers if that means I have stickers in my sticker store that my students actually want. The whole purpose of showing the inappropriate stickers to you guys, that all started because so many teachers were starting sticker stores in their own classroom and I felt it was my responsibility to be like, hey, some of the packs may have inappropriate stickers, you gotta check them out. That was the whole point, just to bring awareness to check your stickers. I hope that answers the question. I'm sure I'll still get a hundred of those in the comment sections, but it's, it's okay. So I have some inappropriate stickers. <laughs> and over the last year, people always ask me, okay, Mrs. Miller, what makes a sticker inappropriate? Uh, what makes it not okay to give to your middle school students? And my rule of thumb is, I like to call it the, the LaCroix rule. Um, you know, like a strawberry LaCroix is like a hint of hint of strawberry. If there is even a hint of, hint of inappropriate in that sticker, it's not worth my time. Not worth my time. <laughs> so over the year, um, I have classified each inappropriate violation into 10 different categories. And honestly, there's actually only nine. The 10th violation or the 10th bin or drawer, as I call it, I always switch off between drawer and bin. Uh, the tenth drawer is actually all of the little pieces of inappropriate stickers that I cut off of the inappropriate stickers. So if you follow my content, one of my most viral series is fixing inappropriate stickers. So any piece that I cut off that's inappropriate goes into this bin. And um, fun fact, a lot of the, the other pieces also go into that bin because I don't give a lot of any of those to my students. <laughs> Students don't want cut up stickers, but we'll, we'll just hide that information for you guys that are actually watching this video. Okay, and here we go. What makes an inappropriate sticker inappropriate? What are the nine categories that I classify, in my opinion, as inappropriate for my students? Um, let's do it. Number one, drawer number one. Political stickers, any political party, anything that jokes about inappropriate, anything that's even a joke about uh, politics or whatnot are not worth my time. Um, like literally anything that's political. Um, there's even Michael Scott ones that are like, are acting like he's running for president. I just, anything political, I just don't, I don't give to my students. Even this one that says, make our planet great again. It's not worth my time. Joe Biden eating a um, ice cream cone. Not worth my time. Oh, I'm not gonna say that the entire video. Um, a lot of memes of Donald Trump. A lot of memes of Barack Obama. Uh, we got Bernie Sanders. 
I just, I don't give, oh. <laughs> like, obviously that's not political, but I, rules are rules. That is a violation one. Anything that is political. Um, oh, what was the one that people always got really mad at me for? This one. Uh, I just cut off the sticker. It said orange sus vote him out. Um, that's a violation one. It's a, it's, it was a Trump joke. So people always fight me over political ones. I don't give out any of them. Um, drawer number two. Uh, these are all controversial ones. So if you are in any type of controversy, I just, it's not worth my time. It is not worth my time. Uh, pink guy, um, Shane Dawson, none of those, um, like people always say that the Pepe meme is, uh, has been taken back. It's not inappropriate anymore. If, if there's anything controversial, it, it I'm sorry. I'm a teacher. I don't want to lose my job. Um, Borat. <laughs> he literally asks women how much. I'm not going to give that to my students. So anything that's controversial, violation two. All right, violation three. Um, I feel like this is the only one that people are like, okay, yeah, you can't give those to your students. Um, there are some some comments that are still, you can give those to your students. I'm, I'm not gonna give my students drugs and alcohol stickers. My students are like 10. All right, yeah, drugs and alcohol. Um, you know, like Shrek doing drugs. We got some beer logos. Um, Bad Bunny, he's also shirtless, drinking some alcohol, uh, Zippo, you know. So like anything that has to do with drugs and alcohol. Again, this is like the one drawer that people are always like, yeah, okay, I, I get it. Um, and then the people that literally say that those are okay are lying. I'm not trying to lose my job today. All right, um, number four is anything that is um, sexual in nature. So, um, I don't know, shirtless people, inappropriate touching. Ooh, that's a naked smurf. Um, I, don't, I don't think I can show this to you guys. Lord Farquaad, you know, looking sexy. A peach and an eggplant. Um, this is also another drawer that's that's not very controversial. People are are like, yeah, okay, you, you can't give those to your students. This is oh, this was my first inappropriate sticker that ever went viral. This one was controversial. Um, Nicholas Cage shirtless in a banana suit, like posed all. That's not okay to get to my students. That was a very controversial one. People were arguing in that comment section for months. Um, as you can see, I never actually gave it to my students. So again, majority of these are not controversial. Um, they, people will accept, people will accept that I can't give out sexual stickers. Okay. Drawer number five, bad words. Again, uh, not usually a controversial drawer. If it says the F word, uh, the B word, this one says, guess what? B word, coronavirus. Um, this one says B, what the F. Um, oh, these ones are the ones that are controversial. The ones that insinuate bad words. Again, hint of, hint of strawberry LaCroix. Um, not worth my time. O for fox sake. S word happens. 
Um, this one spells the F word incorrectly, F-U-Q. Um, you know, anything that like insinuates a bad word. This one says slut. <laughs> Jim from the office. Um, so you know, anything that insinuate, oh, Aloha Beaches was a very controversial one back in my day. This was one of the first inappropriate stickers that I asked like, can I give that to my students? It's supposed to be the B word. I guess this one could have been a violation for Centopics. Yeah, I think that's in the wrong bin. That was a violation for. This is Van Gogh saying the F word, wearing a mask. You're not my dad, ugly A word, F word, noodle head. I tried to fix that one by using a Sharpie. That was in a vine pack. There's Kim Kardashian saying, don't be rude. Okay, this is a drawer that sometimes is controversial. People always argue I can give those to your students. Uh, drawer number six, violation six, is uh, weapons. So a lot of guns, a lot of knives, swords. Some of anime ones are in this one. Um, I guess the ones that get like controversial are like the little little chicks with like a small knife. Um, Kermit the Frog with a machine gun. Like those ones, I guess, could, like I, I, I probably wouldn't get in trouble with a parent. Probably is the key word there. If there was like one parent that would be upset, not worth my time. Uh, like this one, uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, but it's from a different movie. Uh, like about to shoot somebody, not, no. I'm not gonna give, it's not the right thing. Not gonna give those to my students. A lot of these are just guns. This one's a chainsaw. Again, if I say no weapons, I'm, I'm just gonna say no weapons altogether. I think this is a guy from 300. It's Those are the ones that get controversial. I don't think the ones that are like literally shooting the guns. Oh my God, this is like probably a water gun. But again, it, I'm not gonna be promoting guns and knives to my students. I'm sorry. They're not worth my time. Alrighty, number eight. Nope, seven. All right, number seven. Uh, this one is a controversial one, just like the political ones. Uh, people are like, why can't you give those out? Um, I don't give any religious stickers to my students. So just like politics, I don't give any religious stickers. Snoop Dogg as Jesus. Uh, the Jesus ones that say, I saw that. I probably wouldn't get in, y'all need Jesus. I probably wouldn't get in trouble. God is good. God is great. Shrek as Jesus. Like I probably wouldn't get in trouble for these. Um, the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. <laughs> Again, I just, I just don't, anything that's based on religion, I just don't give to my students. Um, I just don't, I'm sorry. Oh, this one's Michael Scott saying, no, God, no. No, God! No, God, please, no, 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 no! I also don't have all rep religions represented in my stickers. Um, it's majority is Christianity and I don't have um, many other religions represented and I have a ton of students that have diverse religious backgrounds. So um, that's just another reason why I don't give out any religious stickers to my students. Um, I hope that you can respect that. This store is really small though, so it's usually hard to get them in there. Alrighty. <laughs> Woo, violation eight, inappropriate hand gestures. I recently had one of my friends uh, surprised me with a pack of custom made stickers. And he knows that uh, Violation 8 is a very, like, very popular, inappropriate sticker that I show on my feed. So he literally photoshopped me onto a sticker. Um, that's my face. I'm not going to show you though, because I don't want people editing it. Um, so he photoshopped me on somebody's body doing a violation eight and it says inappropriate sticker. Really funny. Um, I can't give those my students, obviously. Uh, we got a chicken nugget flipping us off. We have Betty White flipping us off. Uh, a lot of Betty Whites flipping us off. Um, 
a couple anime guys, uh, guys from Outer Banks doing some weird hand gestures. Maybe you can zoom in on that one. I'm not gonna show up to the screen. These are violations. Klee flipping us off. Um, little stick figures flipping us off. Kendall Jenner flipping us off. Um, you know, just some casual violation eights. I think I've accidentally called this a violation seven or nine in like a video of a long time ago. It's definitely a violation eight. So if you ever see me accidentally say it as a different, it's, it's an eight. It's a violation eight. If you watch any of my content, violation nines are the funniest to people because violation nines are uh, stickers that I don't know if they're inappropriate or not, um, which makes them not worth my time. So a lot of my students will tell me if it's inappropriate or not. You guys will tell me if they're inappropriate or not. Um, I've shown a, like so many of these, like uh, Rick and Morty get swifty. Uh, that's still, people are arguing in the comments whether it's inappropriate or not. So I'm, I'm keeping it in here. Um, I've shown the majority of these and I've moved them to the correct bin. So there's not too many violation nines in here that I haven't already shown in my uh, Violation 9 videos. Like I asked what, what's trilling it mean? I guess I should, I can always Google it, but I make all of my content at 6 a.m. Um, I always get it done before like seven o'clock um, because uh, school starts at eight. I like to have all my stuff done by 7.30. So I like literally film my content at sunrise. Uh, so when I say I don't have time, I really don't have time. I'm working on a very tight schedule whenever I make any videos. I, this is filmed over winter break, so that's this is why I'm getting all the time. Um, I've also downloaded this app that people have told me to do. You can take a photo of the sticker and it tells you what it is uh, or where it is on the internet. So that has been very helpful to reduce violation nines. Um, I just haven't gone through all of these. I think that's a, I think, I think that's a band. Um, a lot of people were trying to they tell me what snake juice is and I've seen Parks and Rec and I don't remember it from Parks and Rec. They said it was from Parks and Rec. Um, so, you know, violation nines are fun. Violation nines have brought one of the funniest inappropriate stickers of all time. Cause I literally did not know what it was. I didn't, I didn't know what the, that was. All right, drawer number 10, we've made it. Uh, these are all of these stickers that I have cut up to make them appropriate. Some of these are in the wrong bin. Um, like I cut the wine glass out of her hand. This was a stitch one that said, let that S word go. Um, this was, it was a little bee with a wine glass that said buzzed. Um, I cut the toe, send toe picks off of this one. Uh, D's nuts, straight, straight out of D's nuts. Uh, that was, you all had to feel down that one. I cut the gun off of Kirby in this one. I could literally make a whole video on showing you all of the, <laughs> show me them. Yeah, that was, um, the creepy guy from Dragon Ball Z. There's just so many. I've, I've, I've been making cutting sticker videos for so long that there's just so many cut up stickers. And no, I don't always give them to my students. Sometimes my students do want the cut up stickers. They'll be like, yo, I saw that video. Give me that whatever sticker it is. Uh, but majority of the time, I just put all of the cut up stickers into drawer number 10 and they stay there until I make a YouTube video. So that is uh, the sticker bin tour. We have violation one, which is politics, two, controversial, three, drugs and alcohol, four, sexual in nature, five, bad words, six is um, weapons and guns, seven is religious, eight is hand gestures, inappropriate hand gestures, and nine is your girl has no idea what that even means. So I'm not gonna give it to my students until I know what it means. And 10 is all the cut up pieces. I've never been challenged to do that before. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of them. Again, you are more than welcome to argue in the comments whether you think any of these are appropriate to give to my students or not. Um, but my rules are my rules. Um, I'll definitely do more tours of any type of things that you want. So let me know what kind of content that you want to see. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today.